Hello friends, Erroneous here. Today we are going to be saying goodbye to this world as we get ready for 1.16. We're going to just do a quick world tour. Hell yeah. I can't wait to build my base in 1.16, but we built some great shit. Mm -hmm. this, this world has been... Probably the best server I've ever been on. Oh, you're just saying that. Fun Island. That's been yeah. kind of roughed up. This by, was uh, the Spawn Island. Kakanina decided to terraform it. Yeah, we don't show Kakanina for a reason. Well, they are an entity. An entity. A hive is. mind, acting yes. through a single body. <laughs> They did make spawning slightly safer, so props for that. But then also a little harder because you can't get off the spawn island without getting to this bridge, basically. And to get yeah. to this bridge, there's a too tall wall around the entire thing. <laughs> so you have to kind of sprint up to here, and if you're spawning at night, eh, good you. fucking luck. So we're starting with honorable mentions, right? Yes, yeah. With our server tour. One of the main regrets of this server is that we never actually built a nether portal on the spawn island. We'll have to do that next time. Oh, well, I mean, think about it. Who knows what Kakanina could have done in the nether, of all places. Well, actually, I had to help them set up their portal because they kept getting it mixed up with my pigment farm. Like mm -hmm. the, the golden shower that Sari built. Oh. <laughs> so... Suffice to say, they're not the most experienced with Minecraft, yeah. but they've you know, built. You know what's sad? This is like the latest build that they put up. It's not is the it first. Really? I'm pretty sure. Oh That's full of cobblestone. <laughs> oh, they uh, matched the carpet to the bed. That's dirt and sand weirdly proportioned. <laughs> This base is just so funny. <laughs> They've got the straight oak trees. <laughs> that are only partially. <laughs> Look, we uh, we've made shit like this in the past. We I all know, have. We all have. But it's fun as hell to look it, back on it and Yeah. Play. It makes me it honestly makes me feel really nostalgic for the early days of Minecraft. Oh god. Yeah, like if I remember like being... that. Like now, if you go on a server and you leave that, it's considered griefing on a lot of servers. <laughs> Landscape griefing. Ah, and this oh, is the please. site of many a creeper explosion. Oh, Actually, yeah. that's the reason that yeah. I put this chest here. <laughs> it's because man, they never even fixed that creeper hole that I that I made. Like I I've covered most of it. No, I'm oh, just you, gonna do that right you now. And your apology. Yeah, like I tried to fix it, but they never you know actually made this finished it. Yeah. So, they seem to be making like a... They made an Eiffel Tower that's hard yeah. to get into. Hey, let me uh, fly out and do a quick yeah, yeah, yeah. outside view. I, I may I've have put some honey blocks on... Those aren't honey blocks. Uh, what blocks are those? Honeycomb. Whatever. Honeycomb blocks. I may have done that, or one of us did. I did. It was a, oh. it was a prank when I first got bees. Yeah, yeah. Didn't we, like, trap something in it? Yeah, there's a beehive in there. Although, I think all the bees are gone because I found bees just kind of flying around the ocean drowning, so... Ah. Uh, oh no, there's still a beehive. Yeah, there's still a beehive, but I don't think there are any bees in it anymore. Alright, uh, would you like to move on to Cosmos, I think, is next? Uh, still have yeah, sure. It's over that way. Oh yeah. Alright, fly me there, because I don't know the way. Here it is. <laughs> Right. Oh Here's my god! I thought it, dude, I thought it. I must have mistaken it for something else because I remember it being in a swamp and I remember it being bigger. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of hard to imagine this smaller, you know. It's <laughs> I, see, I think one of my favorite touches of his base is not only does he have a house that's only big enough for two beds, but they're not the same color. Well, see, that's the entire point of his house, though. Like, look, he's got jungle oh, right. and spruce. Uh, jungle okay. and spruce. It's like, it's split down the middle. What part? That's why he called it the half shack. Oh, gotcha. Alright, what's next? Right, uh, sun setting. Uh, you want, splitting. You want uh, to your do base? my base? Alright. Yeah. My base is that way from here. 
Oh, it's already in sight. Come on, there we go. Yeah, he he would never stray too far from. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do the social right, stuff while we still got some puzzle. sunlight, or? Yeah, yeah. All right. If I can stop flying, come on. You know what? Maybe I'll just do it from the air then. We can start with this farm, and then like once it gets to night, we can go to like the uh, the golden shower where it'll be prettier. All right. So right there is my record farm. If you didn't know, I don't know if I showed you or not. You did. Wait, I've got I've got a spare ender chest just sitting here. <laughs> oh, take that. Right. Let's tour your base, bro. All right. Cool. <laughs> bye bye. Oh yeah, here's the iron farm that we never built the other f other three <laughs> modules of because one was enough for everything, including yeah, building yeah. with iron blocks. Imagine fucking four of those. Yeah. Yeesh. Hoppers wouldn't be able to keep up. <laughs> no. Now, this thing I'm standing on right now is a is a a hostile mob farm. It's kind of passive. It just sits there and does its thing. It's not a super high yield, but it's high enough. Passive hostile mob farm? Well, it's passive as in it's not active. And no, I know. It's for I was just mobs. saying, like, the words in the sentence together were yeah. fun. Anyways, uh, the golden shower. Yes. Would so, you like to explain this? Because I had no part. <laughs> yeah, method. so Cosmo and I built this. The main thing behind it are these two eggs. The pigmen that spawn inside these portals will try to pathfind towards them so they can stomp on them. We also have a snow golem here, so once they get close enough, he can shoot them and make the pigmen angry. Because if pigmen are angry, they always drop XP, regardless of who they're angry at. Or regardless of who they are angry with. I don't know how to structure that sentence, actually. I like so, then they get uh, flushed down here, and, you know, they die. <laughs> Either by fall damage, right here, which you actually just saw some XP, or if you close this off, you can use a looting sword to get more drops. But it looks like, actually, some of them are already damaged, I think. Cosmo up there might have been hitting some of them. So, yeah, that's how you increase the drops. Come on, there we go. I am the pigments. All that stuff drops down into a hopper system and gets collected. This is something that Cosmo actually put up the last episode. Wait, are you showing up the hopper system? Uh, no, I'm currently up one level from that. Wait, 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 wait are you? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, shit, uh, shit. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was trying to hey, stop it so you could you get doing? out. How uh, you doing? I'm a pigman. A hoink, hoink. I'm sorry. Fuck, Al. <laughs> I'm leaving. Pigmen get crushed. <laughs> yeah. So oh now... shit, I got all the way out with one rocket. Oh, cool. Down here, I built up a sorting system that will take the gold nuggets here, rotten flesh here, which I sell to villagers, and then iron or uh, gold ingots, I think, is the fill. Yeah, there. We also put blocks there and filter those out. And then anything that doesn't get filtered goes to this dropper and spat in the fire, which is actually how Cosmo lost his first set of gear. <laughs> I learned how to make an item sorter. I forgot. Coming over this way is where the entrance to my base is. Or the first entrance. Yeah. That's Got these uh, iron you doors. Know, whole island and things still find room to spawn. That's the coexisting nature of air. Uh, this is the second entrance I made, it just leads to a cave. It comes out on the surface, then right here is where I found my first cave in this world. And it's also where I found my first spawner, which I turned into a spider spawner. Where he found his first love. So, you can get some of that out of there, some string. But then, you may notice that there's also bones, rotten flesh, and gunpowder. That is because, in the in the farm here, there's a hole that leads up to the to the mob farm on the surface. See, I'm not down there right now because I'm not familiar with this. Once we get to the places that I'm more familiar with, I will I will mm -hmm. be there. Where are you now? I'm at the stairway. So back here is where I found my second cave, but I didn't uh, 
That's kind of sealed off because I had to build some redstone over there. Over this way is my first strip mine on the server. It goes really far that way, but I walled it off because even though I have a perfect lighting system, I apparently messed something up and... Did you break some water? No. You didn't put any water underneath one of my dogs up there. No, I just sat two of your dogs up. Like, for some reason, I was able to... Yeah, apparently. That was weird. They, uh, I stood them up and they, like, disappeared. I guess they teleported towards you. Yeah, that's really weird. I've never seen a, someone else able to stand a dog up. Alright, so, then the first farm I Big built, word. the, uh... Oh, wait, where are you? The slime test tube. Oh, wait, uh, sorry, say it again, you cut out? The slime test tube. Oh, you mean... Of this? This is what I'm familiar with. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! That's just constantly producing slime and iron. I've actually just and emptied me. that, like, I died ago. in here multiple times. And then here is my sorting system. It's my favorite build on the server, I gotta say. Wow. It's... I... Do you know how long it took me to build oh, this thing? Like, You're this thing is... hurt from sucking your own dick. I'm totally... <laughs> <laughs> this thing... is... Like I, I, th I think it's one of the most, one of the most useful redstone creations I've ever made. I, I think I got lost. Know in it. how it even works or how to do anything like it's, it. So it is very impressive. It's beautiful. I love it. Like this, this wiring could probably be cleaned up a lot and made much more compact. But the rest of it, I don't think there is a way to compact a lot of this. It's... I, I have a video on that. I might put a card on it. Oh! Oh! The bamboo farm's running! Perfect. So, this is just your basic bamboo farm. It's constantly overflowing because I never really emptied it. Or I haven't in a long time. Not since building the super smelter. Or the hyper smelter, rather. This is the super smelter. And it's still got a decent amount of fuel in it. Got some charcoal there for emergencies if it runs out. It's just a simple 10 furnace furnace array. 10 furnace. Oh. oh. You drank a oh. potion. No, I didn't. Turn your particles off. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. And a lot of my farms have centralized storage right here. I've emptied them out pretty recently, I think. Uh, this farm and this farm, those are the only two that aren't connected to that centralized storage, I think. Cactus farm, I actually currently have hooked up to make bone meal, because all the drops from it go into here, and then those go into the centralized storage. It's really hard to get the water streams around here, because it's, like, bedrock level there. Oh. And then that leads out to some caves that I haven't fully lit up yet. This is my honey farm. Wow, I need to empty that. Uh, this is where I breed bees. I currently don't have terribly many out because most of them I've been packing away into hives. Each one of these has three in it. Dude, I need to learn bees. You're the one who's been doing most of the farming for yeah. this round. And then this is a TNT duplicated, uh, duplicating cobblestone farm of my own design. It's not what super the complicated. Fuck happened? What do you mean? Oh, I heard an explosion. I'm not in there right now. Oh, yeah, I'm running the TNT farm. Every now and then a zombie or something will spawn on top of one of the blocks in here and just fall in. That's Dude. always fun to watch them die. Epic. So yeah, I have two different methods for this. You can either use the lever, which he is standing in the way of. There we go. Hmm? Or you can no. stand on the pressure plate. Nine. Oh. <laughs> Wanted to see how long it would take. No, I, I can or tell you're there. I, I, I have particles turned on. I can do on. it. Sorry. I keep misspeaking. It's my bad. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot lately. I'm gonna stop. So, the the uh, idea behind the pressure plate one is if you if you leave this running when you leave rendered chunks, it can break. So, if you wall yourself in right here on the pressure plate, then if you die, it automatically turns off. This is where I do my mining, as you can probably tell. <laughs> it's gotten a bit bigger. I have a 
And this is where I put all my maps. So I've got Orange Island on these nine, which is where we are right now. Then the Guardian Farm, which we'll see later. Got uh, Kekanina's Bay. I still don't know how to pronounce it. I've never it's figured Kekanina. it out. Kekanina? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try to remember that, but I, I cannot. <laughs> oh, so then Ross's base, which has expanded, and I actually might need to update that map. It and hasn't then expanded enough. Another tether so. junction. <laughs> then this is a large map. Like, to give you an idea of how large it is, Kakania's base, Ceres base, and my <laughs> bear, Cosmo's base <laughs> are all in the bottom right corner of one of these maps. That's where the Guardian Farm is, which is a really long way away. Uh, I think the Hyper Smelter's right around here somewhere. Ooh. Another Tether Junction. Another Ooh. Tether Junction. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Avagar is up here somewhere. I think it's right there. <laughs> Alright. This is the magic randomizer that I built for deciding what to do next when we weren't sure what to do next. Still got a woodland explorer map in there, but you know, Ross already explored a woodland explorer or a woodland mansion, so not really much point here. Subspace bubble achievement. Yeah, we could do your 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 base. Yeah, your because it's my base. it's around noon, so by the time we get there, it'll probably be pretty close tonight. I don't know about that. Especially if we go through the nether, because the nether, if everyone's in the nether, it always seems to become night when you come back out the other side. The one time we want it, it's gonna be different. Right, well, we can check out the, t the nether tether junction, see if it's daytime. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm in. Alright, I'll just leave the boat here. Right. Oh, we've got right, some so pigment enjoying the junction. I'm kind of ashamed of. Like, this interior, it was around Halloween, so I'm fine with this. But, uh... I honestly forget I'm in the nether in this room. <laughs> like, yeah, I just can't imagine that I go through that and I end up in the overworld. It, it almost feels like a plug-in, you know? Like, how on servers you can step into a portal and it takes you to another spot in the world instead of to the nether. Uh, yeah, not much to show here. Just yeah. kind of a... It's kind of a tower. We made Although, temp housing and then never ever changed it. I made a flower farm somewhere uh -oh. nearby. Oh, cool. Okay. That was a curious lag. Yeah, I just lost connection. Yeah, so... Alright. I will be the first to say, this was not my favorite build. Yeah. Of what I mean, I didn't work on it, so I can't really thing. say much about it, but... <laughs> It's, dude, I did put this banner here and mark it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that banner was for something different. I did, oh, did I ever tell you what that that uh, surprise was that I never ended up finishing? No, no, you didn't. I was going to make an elytra course that had like puzzles and uh, competitions and stuff like that for you and Cosmo to go through. Oh. But I never ended up finishing it. Like it was oh, going to be, be like. Every map that I had explored would have a piece of it. Wait, 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 don't go in. Don't go in. Don't go in. Can you look at me for me? Alright, so I'm looking at the camera. Mm hmm Cosmo, I would have fucking destroyed you. Destroyed you. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Off to something I'm a bit more proud of. If that can we still want... load in. Do we still want to show it at night? Because I feel like it's going to be a while until it's night. Yeah, we can show, we can show it during the day and at night, because it's going to be there for a while. The boat made it a long way down the tunnel. Huh. Alright, I got it. Hop in. Yeah. There we go. Because it, it's, it's well past noon out in the, on the surface. Alright. Wait. Oh, shit. Uh, why am I dying? Uh, you're suffocating. Mind the block. Uh, yeah. I'm thought we had made it to the end. No, this that guy was got some me. lag? Yeah. Uh, which way is it? The way you were heading. That way. Towards the guy. Okay, Towards the guy. Out of the way, dude. You know what? There. There we go. Go, go, go. Alright, don't actually go through my portal yet. 
Uh, I just had a blast of memory. I don't remember what is this way, but we should go this way. Something's this way. It, it's nothing too impressive, honestly, but once again, it was just something to uh, bide my time. Oh yeah, this is it. Ooh. Oh, We're super lag. Yep. And I'm in fire. I'm in fire. I'm on fire. Zombies are killing me. Hey, you're good. You're good. Oh, never mind. I guess not. <laughs> I was apparently having a lag fest there. Uh, if you would follow me. I'm gonna stay behind you because I don't want to get hit. <laughs> okay. There we go. Damn it. Oh, That's shit. That's probably smart. Baby zombies. With boots. Alright, so what else? Alright, so if oh, you see that here? up there. Hold on. What is this? Oh, did I never show you this? No, you didn't. I guess I never finished it. I don't this remember how nice. far I got. The smallest tree can form the deepest roots. Whoa. I guess I never actually showed you. Yeah, this is, uh. Well, it's self explanatory, just enjoy. Dang. You put a lot of work into, like, large builds, and I, I do not have that kind of patience for decoration. I didn't either. Uh, forcing myself... I don't know, fuck you. Apparently do. I kind of have patience for... Got a little pool room builds. here. A nice little bed. And a secret cozy. tunnel. Is there? Yeah, right oh here. no, that's not a secret tunnel. That's just where the water is supposed to flow out. Oh. I like to take a lot of things into account. Huh. I do like how cozy this bed is. I accidentally set my spawn. What ifs? There's a zombie breaking down the door. This one? Oh! He broke it. How? Zombies Whatever. can break down doors on hard mode. Well, no, no one that. I mean, like, I how did he get down here? Just jumped down the hole. Maybe he broke the one on the top, too. So the, those are the only three doors, then? That's... Yeah. I, I seriously I, have no idea how you... I think I ended up, like, not being incredibly proud of this, because there's only, like, two rooms. Well, yeah, but and still, it's like... I couldn't like... life of me figure it out. <sighs> oh. It, it you know why? Like, I, <laughs> I don't even uh, have words. So then there was something else here you were saying? Oh, right. It's just something simple. If you go, like, through that cross, there's a cave that leads to a water hole that goes down that leads to the little tunnel that goes from here to my base. Yeah. Do you want to take the tunnel? Oh god, no. That takes for fucking ever. <laughs> I mean, it took forever in spectator mode, so I guess that would make sense. See, you followed it in spectator mode. You... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I found it accidentally. Doesn't yeah, mean but you I followed it. I followed it intentionally. Oh shit! You just uh, said it took forever, Inspector. Ah, uh, where are we? I can't help you unless I hit you. Anyways, the only reason I built a tunnel out there in the first place <laughs> was because I could never tell when it was raining at my base, and I wanted to make a uh, head farm or a head shop. This this portal was originally over here, and I remember being surprised when, like, you actually came in and moved it. And it actually linked up where you wanted it to? Yeah. Well, yeah, it didn't link up originally, <laughs> and I knew it had to be there, but I was like, if, oh, Actually, I don't if you go it. to the right side, like, in this specific block, it'll still link up to that location if you have a portal there. Uh, you know what? I don't even want to look at my mom farm. <laughs> eh. Yeah, you might it as works well. better than mine. <laughs> it does only because it's like way up high and yeah. Like I don't have any other. Farms Has a proper anymore. AFK room, and then there is this castle. Oh, it's sunrise. Better hurry. Yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking a dawn view of the castle. Let's do if it. If it'll render. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is like the. This is probably the largest structure as far as XY space, or XZ space, on the server. 
this this and was it is absolutely beautiful. It was a long time in the making. Yeah, I, uh, you know, it's funny that you landed on that tower because right under, actually, uh, come down, like right right below that tower. All right, all right, follow me. So naturally, I couldn't live in the castle before it was built. So where did I live? Well, there was an open little canyon that I found that I just kind of dug down into, and I sealed it up, but there's still parts of where I live here. Everywhere he's got just these little secret things like uh, that. Right, that's, that's to, to keep villagers from leaving. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I have those there the There's actually, too. there isn't a single spawnable block in this base, is there? I don't think so, no. Yeah, because like, he's got the double tall snow on everything, snow path, and not whole blocks. Like stairs, carpet. Everything if he doesn't have that, it's lit, so... The elf is illuminated, and I tried to make the houses look snow packed. I think I only ever got two villagers. Uh, I still have a cinematic of this, maybe I'll attach it. Oh yeah. And, like put a link of it. Dude, oh, one of the things I am most proud of. <laughs> I remember... At one point, I was just kind of taking a piece of armor from th this particular stand and seeing how long it would take you to notice. I ended up putting them all back because it got boring after, you know, a couple days, but... <laughs> I don't I don't uh, check the armor stands a lot. It is yeah. totally likely that I... Like, I patchworked all the armor on those stands, so it's yeah, totally course. likely that I just forgot a piece or two. Oh wait, where did I get golden? You know, I can finish that one up right now, actually, because I have golden boots for some reason. Yeah, I have a golden helmet. It was probably from killing all those zombies. Yeah. As you can see, we're actually missing an armor stand. Don't know where that came from, though. <laughs> oh, you know, I bet that was when the raid happened. Oh, right, right, they, right. Because you said that they broke one of your armor stands. Yeah. All right. I would like to say one of the things I am most proud of, most proud of on this server, isn't actually this base. It's this banner. <laughs> I I was so happy when I found the snowflake pattern. <laughs> Just a diamond with a sun in the middle. Uh yeah. I, actually, I think it's called a flower pattern. It looks uh, the same. Yeah, though. flower pattern. Oh, it's like, dude, uh, you can sunflower. totally make a sun though. Hmm. Dude, let's make a sun cult next season. <laughs> and uh, this is where I based most of everything. I had barrels. Oh yeah, there's the there's the gift that I left you. <laughs> I didn't. We were in Avagar for the longest time. I don't. I think this is the first time I've seen it. Goddamn. <laughs> Flexing on me with all that gunpowder. Yeah, I'll uh, we'll have to show that farm sometime soon. Yeah. I was gifted a map, a set of maps, and they've sat there ever since yes. I moved my barrels. The four main ones, the central four. Once again, not as proud of this. Because it's all like pretty blandly one fishing hole. There's not enough uh, firmness to the design, if that makes sense. Yeah, looks like you harvested some ice from here too. Oh yeah, that's a little <laughs> obvious. <laughs> My bad. Oh, like the opposite tower? I'm gonna oh, I see you. Gotcha. Okay. Oh wow, that almost hit me. <laughs> oh shit. I was worried. Um. So, this didn't really stick. This happened because I wanted a farm for food, and it wasn't really immersive to have that in the snow, so I figured we make it just barely outside of snow. And then a creeper blew up nearby, and I never replaced the door. Uh, it was a little off. Oh, I remember, mess I, I remember accidentally messing with these things. Like, I accidentally right-clicked on them once. I was like, oh, oh no, okay. he's gonna kill me if he finds out that I messed with them, and I harvested some stuff until I was able to fill them back up. <laughs> oh, thank you, good sir. <laughs> this is the inn. I built it based off of something called a koozie cottage. It's a, uh, it, it's a build that I saw on YouTube forever ago, and I just memorized for some reason. It's been in a lot of servers that I've been on. And it was designed for the express purpose of Air and Cosmo setting their spawns when they are here and working on something. I never really did any work on this part, and it shows because there's this, which I was hoping to make into there's, like a. There's what? Oh. Into oh. like a drug den kind of deal. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Yeah, it would have been, but. 
I didn't know this was here. Got around to do it. Yeah, no one ever checks this corner, so I never felt compelled to do anything with it. I was and just like, oh, what's over here? Oh, yeah. stairs, cool. <laughs> I think this is my second favorite build in your compound here. The library? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have terribly much depth on the sides, but uh, something about the something about the palette just works. Yeah, I liked it. So I built kind of like a small library maze. Unfortunately, this that gold trick does not work anymore. Oh, well, it did. That's why all that stuff is in the barrel. That's the enchanting gear. But originally, to get to the net, yeah, you would have to go to the rafters, drop down. And you'd be in this, like, secret little alchemy hut. And this is where we were when we first got here. Yep. And this is my, uh, this is my assistant. Summon Thrall Jeff. Uh, anyway, so barrel room, storage room. Yes. My simple storage room, nothing fancy. Uh, oh, and, uh... I, I made it on. Hang on, right over I made the here. Obvious. That's where I had the cats that were meowing so much. You know... <laughs> I forgot to look- wait, can I stand these? No, cats are too stubborn. Can't stand them up. Come on. Come on, Sasha. <laughs> I just made that name up on the spot. I guess the next logical spot to go would be the Hyper Smelter and the Pigment Farm. Like, the Gold Torrent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. It's, this kind of things stick with me in a weird way. I like, mm -hmm. uh... Like, this is my version of making progress on something. Yeah, your, your version of progress is, I have made this, and I've also made it pretty, and I've also given it a story. I've my made version it of my progress is, hands. hey, look, now I don't have to mine this thing. <laughs> Along the lines of, like, I started with nothing, and I did this, and it looks cool. Mm -hmm. It just gives me a good feeling. Alright. So this is the Hypersmelter, property of Air Industries. Read this. It. Huh? Yeah. Read this. Yeah, you guys never read that. Read this. Hello, fellow kids. This is the Hypersmelter TM. To the left is the item pickup, and to the right is the item input. Please refuel the machine when you're finished, and don't go in any iron doors, or you can break the system, even just by being inside. That is true. This is probably the largest redstone contraption on the server. What about... no, your item sorter is smaller. It's a 128 furnace array with an automatic bamboo farm at the top, so you don't ever have button. to fuel it. Huh? I hit a button. What'd you hit? I don't know. I stepped on something. Oh, you stepped on the pressure plate, that's fine. That's just the, uh, that's the emergency fuel. Oh yeah, I've been down it's here. It's an absolute I'm a robot. mess. <laughs> yeah, so basically, uh, the stuff from the bamboo I farm. I haven't gone this deep in it. I didn't realize how many fern I were in here. Yeah. The, the stuff from the bamboo farm gets collected and spat out here into this water stream and collected by these chests. If they are full, then it continues around and runs along this ice path that follows the entire length of the furnaces. And then on top of the furnaces, every one of them has a hopper, and a minecart with a chest on it runs around distributing items to every one of them. Once the items have been, have been dropped off, it comes down here, and if there is anything left in the chest, it will get put back around for another circulation. But if the minecart with chest is empty, it'll come up here and park over here again. Which is... Oh, that's a minecart with hopper, actually. It, that's the input chest in the main area. After a set amount of time, if the system is on, it'll trigger that. The minecart will be sent around for another run. Anything that comes out of these hoppers, or out of these furnaces, comes Furn out at just the right speed, so I can have 20 furnaces to a single uh -huh. output. And all I did there was have a fast dropper clock dropping stuff down into a main collection water stream, because it's much, much faster than hoppers. So the output, uh, that water stream comes up inside of this pipe here. If I can get back around. 
and then comes up on top of this stack of chests and goes over these hoppers. So they first start filing into this chest, which then flushes down all the way to here. But if the hoppers get overwhelmed, which they do with this thing, if you melt more than like five stacks, it continues to try and push it into chests through up to six hoppers. And if it, uh, if it runs out of space there, then they are able to make a return path through here. But it can smelt uh, right around two stacks in ten seconds, not including collection time. Yeah, the rest of this is just a village. I do have a stray cat trapped in one of these houses. I think it's this one. Yeah, there's a stray cat in here. He's not tamed, but he's... he's there. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't despawned. Let me out! Yep. <laughs> I will never understand redstone at this level. This is actually some really simple redstone. It just looks That's complicated. That's what all redstoners say. It's actually really simple. Well, this is. It's literally a couple of auto droppers and a uh, and some hoppers. Dude, if it's not a fucking uh oh, if it isn't a fucking block of TNT, then it's like a work of science and wonder. So, up on the surface here, there is a ladder somewhere. Here it is. And this goes up to another portal, which takes us to the top of another. <laughs> Yet another thing I do not understand that Erroneus does. Where the fuck did my trident go? Um, it's not in your inventory? Nope. I threw it up the gold. Oh, I have it. I don't Wait, know you how. have Headhunter? Yeah, what? I don't I don't know how, but I do. How the fuck? Here, I'll hand it to you at the top. Thank you. That was weird. That was Never really actually got weird. a hand with it. Wait, yes I did. I got oh hand. wait, try try throwing it through real quick. I wonder if it's because it was loyalty and I was the only one nearby. Yeah, it started to return to me, then it went oh, to the portal. Oh, it hit the ground. When it's loyalty, apparently it doesn't, and the, the owner isn't there, it doesn't just float around. It hits the ground and is like a regular oh. trident. Okay. I get you. That's interesting. I did not know that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> and now that I All look right, at well, it, I think I may have corner. messed up this corner. Or no. I messed up that corner just a little bit. I do love how there's a single cart here, just to show how the elevator works. It's like oh, those that's, No, that, that's, how I, that's how I first got up. <laughs> Once you're up here, you just kind of get one of them angry and they all start coming for you. Here, I'll walk over to the door here. So, if you get one of the pigmen down here, you can make it angry, and it'll just continually feed more of them to you. So once they're all killed, their items go over here, and this thing produced more gold in the time that I was in the time that I was building it than the golden shower did in its entire lifetime. <laughs> it's an XP farm too, right? Yeah, it's not it's no, not as good of an XP forward. farm as the uh, Enderman farm, but you know, let's see here. I need to go south west, so that way, just barely. Actually, oh shit, it's almost I perfectly broke it. east. That's alright, we'll just put a block there. Cool. All right. So yeah, I think it's almost entirely east. I will follow you. Or, wait, is that east? No, it's west, right? Dude, don't get us lost on the server tour. Facing north. Okay, back we go. I was going the wrong way. Come on, rocket please. Thank you. Why are we going the opposite of east if the direction is north? Um, well, I traveled north, and that was the wrong way. What I really needed to go was west. And a little bit south. South? I think we may be a bit lost. Stop and ask for directions. Alright, so yeah, it's, it's that way. Alright, fly away. There it is! Hey! Found it. Okay. Still got the mushroom here. Oh, <laughs> uh, is it supposed to be here? 
Yeah. There's supposed to be water in this? Yeah. At least <laughs> part of it. Oh, right. So this was the second largest project I've ever done on this server. What was it the was, largest largest? Uh, the largest one was uh, Avagar. <laughs> this is the largest personal project that I've ever done. You stand here on the bricks and then hit the button. Oh, right, right, right. Dude, it's been a while. See, I definitely think we need another, like, farm next server for this, but it needs to be, like, an AFK farm. Yeah, this one's AFK. Want, I, I just want the items. So how do they go up into the pipe? Uh, well, if you come over here, you can see it. So they, uh, yeah, they just kind of get pushed over onto a soul sand elevator. Oh, gotcha. Fun fact, none of this is actually spawnable because it's all covered in slabs. What? Like, oh, down around yeah. you? That's all slabs. Oh, damn. You know, oh. you'd think I would have noticed that, but... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You know, by the but list of mobs. It's so... Like... It's so subtle, you know? Yeah, it's serene Because every single block has a slab on top, and any block that had to be moved up one was moved up by destroying it and replacing it with a top slab then putting a bottom slab on top. Hmm. Then the AFK chamber is up a little higher. Uh, do you want to go to the nether next and walk our way back to the next spot? So this is uh, this is the danger bridge. Or wait, no, this is the oh, second danger bridge. Doesn't one of the danger bridge? Don't one of the danger bridges go to your map? And also, where are you? Um, I just followed the path. Oh, all right. I can still see you, cause you know fog off. Fucking cheater. Yeah, this, that's the original danger bridge, and my basis portal is, like, right there. Alright, so this leads to the ice spikes biome. This is where I collected all my ice. It's not Are much to see, that? so I'll just hop in, show it, and hop back out. Alrighty. Yeah, I harvested most of my ice from right around here somewhere. That's also where we went to raid one with Cosmo. But yeah, that's about all there is here. <laughs> so then from there, this is the way to get to the end. Which, uh, we found a really cool underwater stronghold. Yeah, I found it Which... while making the bottom left, or the first bottom left large map. Oh wait, can we uh, go this way for just a click or two? Just enough to see one of the weird entrances. Yeah, the weird natural entrances that they made. Yeah, there's... There are things like this just everywhere. Okay. Well, that was smart. I just wanted to feel alive. I have only lost one heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is where we first went to beat the end. Uh, I would like to say, I, uh, I stole the kill on the Ender Dragon this time around, just like last server. Mm -hmm. We never did make the egg! Ah, eh, whatever. What would we do with the egg? I have no fucking clue. Make a lamp? Yeah, sure. Alright, so this is the Enderman farm. I, uh... I decided to build this one day. Uh, I got it. I can't remember his name because I suck at names, but it's from a YouTuber. Yeah, uh, I'll probably put a tag to that video. Oop, hi there. Nope. But it is super efficient if you follow his instructions to the letter. I'm gonna count to 10. 1, 2, 9, 10. And if we move forward, just give it a minute. You hear that? You see that? They're hurting each other because they're so crowded in there. Yeah, you can't leave them like that though, because they, they get out. Yeah. We don't want to start killing them all the way. But we don't need to. Okay. So yeah, if you just keep walking this way... Oops! Sorry, you... my headset... <laughs> I hope your... that wasn't loud. <laughs> your headset what? Fell on off my head onto the ground. <laughs> okay then. It's cool. So yeah, this is how we get to one of the three nether fortresses that we found, as well as map land. Nether Fortry. I'll start this shit again. <laughs> 
dude, it's not shit. It's fucking it's truth. Okay, so that portal leads to map land. Uh oh. Uh, it's night. Watch yourself. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, it's one giant spawning space, so it's not fun to be here at night. I don't know, I'm having a good amount of fun. Already. Oh, f I just tried to hit E and grapple under the fucking structure. Play in Terraria. You know what? I should make a map next uh, season. It's gonna take a while to get me to do it and find the design and everything, but I'll figure it out. So... The final thing is along another danger bridge. Is it? Yep. Oh, the it's not even a bridge. It's barely a path. Let's just fly up to it. So this one, you just follow the grass path, and, and then any stairs that may exist. Here. Well, stairs. Quote unquote. Well, there's stairs here. There are there, stairs, a but way. there's stairs. They're not, they're not stair blocks. So. This probably already is what... I know, but still. Uh, so we've been talk we had been talking about making like a little town for a long time. We finally decided to do it to come back to Minecraft because we had been in a lull on the server for a while. Uh, so uh, we found a place. We got to work on a project that we didn't take all the way to where we thought it was going, but I think it's something we can still both be proud of. So let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Ava. You know what I'll say when we're not lagging. <laughs> I'm not. Alright. Welcome. Never mind, I'm lagging again. Rubber banding. To Ava. Fucking. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> To Avagar! Dude, keep all of that in. That's the ultimate Dapper Gaffy representation. <laughs> yep. Gaff, Dapper Gaffy. I don't know how to say our own name. The the name is a joke based on avant-garde, because we've never actually tried building something that looks good and has redstone all together. I you know I'm not actually clear what avant-garde is, if I'm being completely uh, honest. It's an it's a uh, an artistic work that is experimental. Like hmm. something that you that someone would build that kind of breaks away from the norm, which this definitely That's breaks away from our norm. Oh yeah, from our norm. Well, I don't know. This is kind of on point for my norm. Well, I'm kind of boring. Just of build a castle, and that's normal. It just hasn't always been a good castle. <laughs> You know what, let's just tour it. I mean, we're basically finished. We're pretty much finished with this place, because we're moving on to 1.16 really, really soon. I mean, it's basically out. Mm -hmm. It just has yet to be truly announced. It's in the pre-stage, but this is the escape route from the throne room. That's... Uh -oh. I'm out of rockets. Oh, I something. have... Here, I have some. Let's I'll make this... Fa oh, shit. First off... We never got a name tag to him, but we kind of like privately named him Sir Yeetington, and he guards the castle gate. This is what we planned to be a dungeon, but we would have to get a fuck ton of pillagers because this tower goes really, really high. Yeah, but it's built so you can put iron bars across these, move the torch oh, back yeah. one, and it'll be good. <laughs> yeah. I had no part in designing the interior of this. That was all you, and yeah. I think it looks and good. That is probably the first time I've built something like in a predefined space that actually looks decent. Maybe mm -hmm. this actually. You also did the floor, which yeah. I thought was very well textured as well. Why do we have so many fucking torches in here? I don't know. <laughs> we really only need one, don't we? So the throne room slash dining room. It occurs to me that we never made chairs for it. It's okay, the peasants can Whatever. stand. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the peasants who are invited to dine at the th fucking foot of the throne. Which is all common. Speaking of peasants, welcome to their quarters, slash the cellar. So we never added the we beds. Just, uh, there are... The bed situation... 
to look, sleep on you, the ground. <laughs> you saw the recent episode. We kind of you saw us rush this. I, I think the chandelier is nice. Erroneous yeah. did the roof here, as well as like the uh, oh fuck, what are they called? Rafters. Rafters, rafters. Yes. Uh, he did the rafters, and I think the roof looks fucking great, well, as well as the rafters. It, so that's once again, it awesome. really hurt to not actually count blocks doing that, but it made it look very organic, so pretty happy with it. Then there's some space so, up here for redstone that I never ended up using. Yeah. Oh, there's a bed. I forgot about that one. There's a purple bed up here. Oh, yeah. Secret spawn point. So, the rooms, which... I mean... It took me a while to really get the detailing done because this is where I like started getting tired. This is this where was you the first dumped most of your time in this build, like other than that general outline. We... Bruh, most of my time was in like the out, the exterior yeah, of the build. Yeah, other than the general outline, this is probably where you spent the most time. Mm. We pacified some pillagers to put up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Cosmo actually one. accidentally found a really good way of pacifying and using honey blocks. You, like, put one at their head level and one above their head. And then in the gap in between, like, if that's the one in front of their head, and that's the one on top of their head, you just stand, like, here. And they think they can shoot you, but they can't. So that works really well. So, oh, I placed the beds for this room today as well. But this one I actually detailed another day. I don't think any other rooms have planters, unfortunately, but other than that, I like the uh, little mini bar and loft, so I kept mm -hmm. with it. <laughs> oh wait, don't forget to show off what was going to be the bath area. <laughs> what we call the bath area, but don't actually yeah. ever take a bath. It's really just a cloud level. <laughs> yeah, so... In fact, that's the entire reason this level is open. It's because I didn't want clouds going through, like, regular levels. Yeah, actually, hang on, let me turn clouds back on. I usually have them turned off. And yeah. the mosaics on the floor. Yeah, these were actually kind of fun to set up. I actually had to help Ross out with them, because they require a little bit of redstone knowledge to get them to work. They require a single redstone torch. Yeah. But... I guess I probably have a little wouldn't have thought of that. that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have... Yeah, because well, I, I, mean, I think when I first, I mean, I think when I first, when I first suggested it, you were like, "Wait, but how are you going to keep them up?" Well, you oh, just put a torch no. under it. No, how do you keep it hidden though? You put a torch <laughs> under it. <laughs> Remember my uh, my build from the previous season, the uh, desert, uh, the desert. Mm -hmm. Fuck, what was yeah, that? The, the, the temple, the temple tower. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but on the bottom floor, there was like a little room for the uh, royalty to sit in. I just kind of went with medieval style, I guess, for this room here. I left it mainly open. There's a small desk here that I didn't put a chair to. I thought I had something here, but I guess not. This is well, where... Well, that might have been before we moved the floor up. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, this is where the uh, influence from the old desert thing came in, because it's always nice to have like a chill... Oh, yeah hot tub area to just chillax. I can see that. And, in case invaders are, uh, well, invading, and the king has found himself not near the secret exit, there is a panic room. Although, there's no way out if it closes, and it's not really a hidden room if it does stay open. Aha, but so... take a look at that. <laughs> Yeah, now you're trapped <laughs> in the wiring. Oh, only temporarily. <laughs> we didn't think about that. Whatever, I guess it's the cause panic room. It's Anyways, fine. Uh, the library. We could just put a lever on the piston to lock it, because that would lock the door shut. The main tower. Oh, ignore the chest that's full of Cosmo shit. He died right before leaving. Um, uh, that might have been my fault. <laughs> We, uh, we climbed we, up here and I just kind of punched him. <laughs> oh. We, uh, we filled this place with bookcases uh, supplied by Erroneous and his villager, Hall. <laughs> and, uh, this is the main tower, the peak of the castle, so to say. And Erroneous, actually, was the one who said that, uh, like, most people save their, uh, 
most castles had their uh, religious stuff at the very top so that they could be closer to God and there would be like a private shrine. Yes, that's so, my understanding. This is essentially like a royal library that's just, and it's kind of private and <laughs> that's why it goes through the king's like royal chambers and whatnot. but this... This like is a uh, private chapel. <laughs> yeah, this is the private shrine. It sits here and looks upon the sky. Looks down on the sun, evidently. Even though it's nighttime. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is one of my favorite elytra spots too. You just kind of. <sighs> yeah, I I tried to make a balcony for elytra as you uh, suggested, but it just didn't look right. It looked really, really iffy. And this is another thing I had to do in creative mode first, because it was weird. Yeah, I still think uh, we should have decorated the outside of that a bit more, but time crunch. Yeah. So, ignore the Tower of Crafting Tables. <laughs> yeah. So, I was kind of going for like a more peaceful thing here, which is why there are uniformed flowers, and as recommended by Erroneous, a little watchtower. But I would assume... Like, you can see the pillager outpost from here, but I would assume this is more for viewing purposes solely, since it's in the peaceful area. I, uh, I made a point to have some moss near the bottom. Keep to keep an eye on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show that the garden is slowly taking this tower. <laughs> but, uh, otherwise we got a nice little sitting area. Even a little place for cocoa beans, because chocolate was like a royal thing back then. Two or three slightly custom trees around. A little river that leads down into something that we never actually formed, so it's just kind of water that goes down. Let's not look at that. Uh, <laughs> so we have. I actually did form it a little bit to get it off the wall. Yeah, that would help. Uh, so little lanterns hanging to keep it nice and lit at night. And if you notice the stained glass window in the throne room, outside there's like a miniature... It's essentially nature's eye candy out here. There's another little river that I... Nature leads down into the other river down there. And uh, there's snowberries right outside because that's a nice little thing. And then there's a tiny lake here. Uh, but I think that's Avagar. Yeah. Oh, we totally named the Terraria world Evagar. I hope that's not confusing. We're not playing, like, one off of the other, yeah. by the way. We just named them the same thing. There's no relation. Last thing. We never actually did anything with the Dragon Egg. And I didn't... I mean, we don't really have anything to do with the Dragon Egg. Most people would make, like, a shrine or something. I don't know. But, uh, we never really went for that. So, I've just had it in my ender chest because I know it's fragile and had to keep it safe. Oh, three dragon heads. <laughs> Leave those in there. So I have it in the special chest. And uh, we uh, never did anything with it. So we figured that we should do something with it. And the usual thing to do with something as precious as this is to use it for what seems natural. So, behold the Ender Dragon Lamp. I mean, it's supposed and, to have uh, an end rod, but I don't have an end rod, do you? No, sorry. Okay, good enough. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, would you like to put the sign down? Yep. Uh, let's see, what should we write on this? There we go. It's the end of the server, and that's sign still... <laughs> <laughs> I kind of sad to leave this place, but... Yeah, man. We'll be starting a new one, though. Yeah? Plus, we'll probably back it up somehow, unless it, this yeah. one gets hacked. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll contact the admin. At least we have closure. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> last time, where we had to hold a funeral. Yeah. That was not fun. I mean, the video was funny, but... Yeah. Check out that, uh, check out that card. <laughs> This is something that has brought us both a lot of joy, it's given us a lot of time to- sorry, it's given us ways to spend a lot of our time, it's mm -hmm. given us a lot of fun times, it's put smiles on our faces, and fuck it if I want to mourn it even slightly. 
Uh, so I guess that's it I guess for tonight. Well, it has been a pleasure being on the server with you, Erroneous. And from all of you who watch this, I know there aren't many of you, but I, I have seen that there are some subscriptions that are unaccounted for. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And sorry I got serious on Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.